have just landed in Mexico. Our day started at 5.30 a.m. And we had a long drive to the airport, three and a half hour plane ride. And now we're here at this restaurant and they have donkeys. Viva Mexico. And for those of you who don't know, I am Mexican, yes. <laughs> Shocking, I know. But we're here in my original hometown that I should be from. You were born in California. I made it to Chalupa, right? Chapala. Uh, Chapala, not Chalupa. Tienes tu YouTube video. Estamos en Chalupa. Puerto Rico. La casa. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, you guys. I mispronounced something in Puerto Rico. And now my mom has to double check my Mexican videos to make sure that I say everything right. We're here at Chapala. We just got sold a fermented palm tree juice. I think these are pecans. Pecans? I call them pecans. Pecan. Pecan? I was raised as a pecan girl. We were raised the same way. I don't think so. Chapala is a really pretty lake. 30 minutes from Guadalajara where we just came from. This is my mom. She twisted her ankles, now she has a boot. <laughs> So we are now at my aunt's house. We're gonna be staying here. It's seven o'clock right now, so it's two hours behind. Back home, it would be 9 p.m. right now. Tomorrow we have a big day too, so we need to have a good night's sleep. I just had dinner, so I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. So yeah. Like the pineapple. After they get cooked, then they get mashed by this thing. Yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> and we're leaving now. I haven't vlogged all day. Hello, what's up? I I have been trying to edit in my free time any chance I get and I have a lot of videos, right? So today we had a family reunion. It was my mom's grandfather's birthday. It was my birthday and it's my cousin's birthday next week. So we just all came together and met everybody and we just got back. It's like 7 p.m. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my shower stuff so I don't have to do it later and yeah. Also, my whoop today was so incredibly bad like i have never seen it this bad so we didn't even do any walking today so hopefully it gets so much better tomorrow we'll see so my brother was the first one to leave this trip so we had to drop him off at the airport see you in two weeks we went to the store afterwards and we saw lots of vegan things Next day we started our trip to Puerto Vallarta, which is about four to five hours away, and we got to our all-inclusive resort. Oh my Then I got sick. When we got back from the beach, my aunt was the next one to leave the trip. And after we dropped her off at the airport, we decided to go visit this Sunday flea market. In the next few days, we were just exploring, chilling, and we were walking a lot that day. I mean, like walking, and then we did some more walking, and then we did some more walking, and just kept on walking, you know? And then the time came that I dreaded the most. My mom was leaving this trip. We were supposed to leave together, but I decided to stay an extra weekend to get some LASIK surgery. Así es como me veo antes. Antes de mi surgery. ¿Está oscuro? Oh, lo paso yo. Más de este. Okay. I just got out of my LASIK surgery. It was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. You see everything that's happening. You lose your vision for a little bit. It's very crazy. But right now, I'm feeling like my eyes are burning and very sleepy. I can't even tell you like how much my eyes burn right now. Like I'm opening them, but they're watering so much. Also, if I didn't mention already, I'm still in Mexico because it was way cheaper here. It was only 20,000 pesos. I decided to just stay a little longer and get the operation. Although I was absolutely terrified, even after they gave me a relaxing pill, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to sleep. I'll update you tomorrow on how I feel. After literally doing nothing but eating, sleeping, and watching you, <laughs> it was my time to leave. So I went back home to the States, and this was actually my first time flying alone in a plane. It's crazy. So a little update on my LASIK. I'm back home. Um, this is my first time outside without sunglasses. It's been about four or five days now since my surgery. But the day after I went in for my checkup, I couldn't see out of my left eye. It was so blurry. When they took a closer look, they had seen that a flap that you put over your eye was wrinkled so they had to fix it which means that I had to go under the machine again no pill and it was scarier than the first time because I knew what was gonna happen and I knew that I just had to get through it although I was terrified I don't know I don't even know if I've told you how many times that I was freaking terrified seeing everything seeing the needles literally poke your eyeball like a little bubble flinching every time they put water eye drops whatever they put in your eye oh my gosh terrifying would not recommend actually i would because the way my vision is right now it's like i'm wearing contacts but i can sleep like i can sleep i wake up and i can see and it's crazy although my vision is not like to its full potential yet the healing process my vision has been fluctuating the first few days i couldn't see up close so yeah i mean it's been good so far i've been protecting my eyes while i sleep i have to wear like these little goggle things 
but yeah that's how i am so far and yeah i just wanted to thank you for watching till the very end i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video bye